Good morning. I'm speaking to you from the mantelpiece in Olympia in the beautiful Great Hall. Look at that lovely building behind me. Uh, and this is a message for Hugh, Hugh at River Cottage. Hugh, um, I'm selling my product here. I'm a farmer, I produce linseed. But I've just watched a couple of television programs and um, you were cooking some steak. Uh, and I just want to have a little chat on you. I'm, I'm going to be a little bit hard with you, uh, but I'm also going to give you an offer. Um, do you remember when they called you fathead at school? It actually wasn't an insult because your brain is a big lump of fat. It's 60% fat. And um, what we have at the moment is we're, we're talking about a quarter of the population uh, with mental health problems. It's really quite big. And you want to ask yourself, what's actually happened in the last few years or the last 60 years to give us this problem um, and I invite to think about this and maybe we can meet or my uh, my invitation to you is if you'd like to come to my farm uh, where you could see um, the linseed oil being processed and see my flax and linseed museum and we could talk a little bit about the importance of, of oils and fats and how to look after them so the real, the real issue here, here is we need to build flexible cell membranes so they talk to each other. That's about the function of the brain. And what's changed so much in the last 60 years, that movement from cooking in lard and dripping to roasting your potatoes in lard or dripping or cooking in oil. When you cook in oil, you heat the oil up to a high temperature. It changes the structure of the oil and therefore your body doesn't have the ability to use it to build those flexible cell membranes. I just invite you to think about that, you know. The, there's so much change in the brain with the function of the brain and something dramatic must have happened in the food chain to probably cause that. And you, of course, are a key person of influence. You have a great influence with people uh, and um, therefore I think it's really right if we have a little conversation about this uh, and delve into how, how you should that. When you're cooking a steak, for instance, it was just, uh, I don't know what oil was put on it, it may, might have been olive oil, but why not just use uh, lard or dripping? Have your little lard or dripping pot right there, and of course preferably that needs to be lard from pasture grazed animals, animals finished from the pasture. They make all the good things that we need in our body. So you see, what you do, not only are you creating food to excite people's taste and get them more interested in cooking and producing their own food, but you're actually producing the raw materials of life. And you can't get much more materials than oils and fats. It's what makes every cell membrane. It's really, really important to get that right. And I think, if you really think about it, you must agree with me that we have uh, moved so far from the optimum in such a short time, and we've created so much illness that we can't afford to cure it. So farmers and cooks and doctors are really important people, uh, but farmers in particular have been um, sidelined and turned into producers of commodities, no longer pr producing food. And it could be said that doctors maybe are not healing people so well as they used to. And um, those two people are not working in accordance with their core beliefs and they're both high on the suicide list. So lots of problems there, Hugh. So I hope you will have a way of communicating with you. But I hope that um, uh, you will communicate with me uh, and maybe come and we'll have a little meeting and we'll talk about oil. In fact, we may, maybe we can... Uh, cook something together in my kitchen somehow in a good way. Okay, I hope I haven't been too hard on you, but I think you can take it. Okay, thank you so much. Bye.